and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good little people of the tube. Hope you're well today. Hope you're feeling grand and always well in your world, because I feel like garbage. I am in the midst of the worst cold I have ever had. I have never had a cold this bad. My entire body is just like painful. It's like I've had like I've had like no sleep over the last like three days either, so I'm exhausted. But that's not going to stop me from doing videos. Although I've nearly lost my voice. But we're here for Q&A Wednesday, everybody. So let's jump into question one today. And I hope you can understand what I'm saying. My throat hurts. Okay. Let's, let's not show too much of my horrific face. Oh, terrible. Anyway, question one today. Uh, how do I go about getting started with improvising solos? Okay, so... I think the best way to start improvising solos, well, 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 for one thing, you have to have certain things in place. You've got to have your five positions of a pentatonic scale in place first. You need to know the neck of the guitar. You need to, you know, you need to know how to, you know, travel around it and un un unlock it. You know, you, you need to understand where you can go and where you can't go in certain keys. And then, once you've got that, what I what I did, and I can only talk from my my experience on it, is is basically just throw yourself in the deep end. What I did, I, I used to have a tape of uh, Guns N' Roses live in Paris. I think it was in ninety one or ninety two. Uh, anyway, they were on the Usual Illusions tour. Anyway, I had this tape of Guns N' Roses, and what I would do is every day I would put this tape on, and I would just solo over it. I would try and figure out the key of the song that was going on, so like, you know, Night Train or Mr. Brownstone or Sweet Child of Mine or whatever it was. I would try and figure out the key that it was, and I would just try and solo over it. Not, I, I didn't care about rhythm guitar. I didn't care about kind of like, you know, what's going on here and there and everywhere. I just threw myself in the deep end and tried to learn where to go and where I can't go kind of thing, if that makes any, any sense whatsoever. So, that's kind of if 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 you've got those kind of like things in place, the the uh like you know your pentatonics and stuff like that in place, and you know your way around the neck, then just throw yourself in the deep end. Yes, the first time you do it, it's going to be terrible. There's nothing you can do about that. I'm afraid it's going to take a while to get these things. But using parts of other people's guitar solos can help with that. You know what I mean? If you use other bits of guitar solos, you can. You know, you can kind of create your own out of mashing certain licks from this guitarist and this guitarist together to make one kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, um, so yeah, I mean, that, that that's probably kind of like the way... Well, that's the way I went about it, and that's the way I'd recommend it. I just think jumping in a deep end, you'd learn. And especially playing along to music as well, I think you'd learn faster because you're using it more in a practical way instead of... Um, a theoretical way, if that makes any sense, you know it's um, you know I just I just think it makes more sense to, to to play along to a band and try to improvise guitar solos, you know. So just put your favorite band CD on, try and figure out the key of the song, and then just kind of like just go crazy over it and just try and figure out where you're going. And the, and through doing this, I think you'll you know, you'll slowly start to develop. You know what I mean? I think you know that you'll 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 get there slow. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, that hurts. Okay, <coughs> yeah, you'll slowly start to develop your own little voice. So, uh, <coughs> uh, you know, you know when you like just to break the subject a bit, but you know when you've had like a, a cough or a cold for such a long time, and every time you cough, it hurts in your stomach. Like that's I can't cough anymore. I mean, <laughs> it hurts too much. Anyway. So yeah, so yeah, that that's what I would do. Just throw yourself in the deep end. Try and just kind of like you know, just 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 dive in and just try and swim. You know, that's what I would say. Start start using the knowledge you have in a in a in a in a practical way instead of a theoretical way. So uh, so I hope I made sense. I am I'm a bit I'm even more terrified today. That this video is going to be terrible because I'm I'm so tired. I I don't know what's going on. <laughs> So I'm a bit delirious, so bear with me. The delirium part is actually quite nice because over the last couple of days I've been fully conscious of how much pain I'm in and I'm a bit bit out of it today, so it's kind of nice. It's, it's a bit of a nice kind of break. <laughs> anyway, moving on to question two. 
So I hope question one made sense. Question two is, what was your face like when you saw John Vashanti is back with the chili peppers? It was kind of like this. Uh, I don't know where my phone is. I just clicked on Instagram like that. And uh, I just kind of went. And I was like that for about, like just wide eyed for about no real expression other than just kind of eyes popping out of my skull for about five minutes and then I was kind of like just couldn't stop smiling it was kind of mental so it was it was wicked uh and you also put uh, do you think John's evolution over the last 10 years will affect the, the chili peppers uh yeah I mean um <laughs> I mean I don't know how it, how it can't <sighs> sorry everyone that's disgusting sorry I do apologize I don't know how John's evolution over the last 10 years can't affect the Chupo, especially if they're writing a new album, but I'm really excited to see how it has and, and what it's going to do. It's, it's really it's really exciting time. So uh, it'll, definitely, it'll definitely do something, but it'll be, be interesting to see what. So, uh, so yeah. So, yeah. But, um, you know, time will tell. But John knows the Chupo is a mainly guitar oriented band. You know, he, he's not a silly man. John knows what he's doing. So, uh, so yeah. So, um, moving on to question three now. I'm kind of rocketing through them just because I'm, I'm trying to keep Tangent Boy at bay because I don't have much of a voice. And uh, it actually kind of, you know... <laughs> anyway, you don't need to know about that, silly. Question three. Skype lessons. Yes, I will be doing Skype lessons this year at some point when I finally get round to it. I, it just, I just need to... Um, I'm 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 not very good at organising those kind of things. I'm I'm pretty terrible at it. And also one thing or another recently, it obviously hasn't been at the top of my list. There's been other things going on. Um, you know, life life has been kind of like you know throwing a bit of a, you know, throwing a bit of a um, spanner in the works really recently. So um, I haven't really been able to kind of like focus on doing anything like that. But but yeah, hopefully. Uh, this year at some point I will be doing I will be offering Skype lessons I'd like to do Skype lessons I think it'd be cool it'd be really cool to connect to people like you out there on a one to one kind of basis I think it'd be really really cool um, by the way I can't play guitar either because my hand just doesn't that's about, that's, that's about as much as I can close my hand it's just like all my muscles and joints are gone and that's really that's, that's, that's upsetting me anyway why did you say that Sometimes, sometimes, Dave. Okay, so final question of the day, everybody. Question four. This is the quickest Q and A I think I've ever done. So, question four is: What mic do you use for micing your amplifier? <clears throat> I use a um, uh, the Shure SM57. I think it's just it's just that classic guitar amp mic. It, it's a sound we all know. You know, s so many of these um, classic rock albums and, and and guitar tones were achieved by using the 57s you know uh even vocals actually for that matter if you look at like lemmy or um uh tio and tarantula singer i forget his name because my brain doesn't work or uh even phil lineup they used 57s on their vocals you know so you know it's just personal preference but i think the 57 is kind of like the classic sound for a guitar amplifier when you're micing it up it just seems to pick up the right kind of mid mid range let's say on the low end and the high it does seem to pick up all those sonic frequencies that you need it to pick up so um so yeah so that's, that's what i use the sm57 because it's just a really really good mic it's just really good and like i said they've just tried they, they've they've stood the test of time they really are that sound uh, I, I have mic'd up a few times using the 58, uh, and I've also, uh, when I've been recording with other people, sometimes used like condensers and the 57, uh, you know, and, and I remember playing live when when we did, um, there's a version of me, uh, of the trio playing Voodoo Child on the channel somewhere, and um, that night we were recording it for that video, and uh, that that night the cab was mic'd up with a 57 and some kind of ribbon mic next to it. I don't know what it was. I, I don't really care. For that. I'm not. All I know is a 57 does its job. Anything else is just kind of like you know out of my technical brain. I don't really understand. I don't really get bogged down with things like that either. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't really. Um, it doesn't really kind of. Uh, 
it doesn't really interest me the technical side of things sometimes. As long as because the fifty seven is the fifty seven is just a great mic to stick on the speaker. You know, just off center of the cent. You know, if that's the center of the cone, if you stick it like there, that's where I always aim for that mic, and it always just seems to get that sound that I want. And I always uh, distance it as well. I have about an inch between the grill cloth and the actual uh, microphone. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, I I I I use the SM57, and I would highly recommend the 57. If you're going to buy one microphone to record a guitar amplifier. Ever, I would always recommend the 57. I think it's just the quintessential, if you will, <laughs> uh, guitar miking mic. <laughs> uh, if that makes even any sense whatsoever. So, um, so yeah. So, um, so, so, how about that's your questions, everybody? Like I say, it's been a quick one today, just because I feel like deaf and I haven't got much of a voice. Um, it's, it's like I was going to record a new song the other day. And I woke up and my voice was like this. And I was like, no. I was like, I've got like two new songs written and ready to record. And I can't do either of them yet because I can't sing properly. Well, I can't sing at all. I can barely talk. So anyway, so I have a few questions. Uh, if you want to submit a question for Q&A Wednesday, everybody, uh, description box below. Uh, the In the description box below, uh, the, the top link is my email address for question and answer for Q&A. So just uh, email me at that, that link below. And... Uh, and then there's other links there as well to my, my Facebook, Instagram, Bandcamp, where my music is and stuff like that. So, Oh my God, that's disgusting. I'm sorry, everyone. I do apologise. Anyway, um, but yeah, okay, so um, I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Like I said, I wish I could do more questions. Hopefully next week we'll be back to normality. Um... Friday's video is questionable at this point. I'm have to see how I kind of get on because, like I said, I, I, I'm struggling to play properly because my fingers to start. I'm, I'm so like my must, my joints are all kind of like stiff and up and and full of cold, so I can't play guitar properly. So we we'll have to have to see um uh what about Friday's video? But I do have some very cool things to show you over the next week or so. So I'm I'm, I'm really looking forward to showing you some of these things. Okay, so um so yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I say sorry about my current state i know it's not particularly great to listen to or, or even look at but uh i thought i'd get my hood up because it kind of hides my face a bit more i'm like very pasty anyway but um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video everybody and i will see you again hopefully on friday but if not uh have a great weekend and i'll see you on monday for sure but i do hope to see you on on friday uh yeah have a great morning afternoon good evening everybody and goodbye now i'm going back to bed